Hello everyone and welcome. It seems that a lot of folks lately are talking about how Harbor Freight prices keep getting higher. A lot of channels are making videos just moaning and complaining about how Harbor Freight is out of control or is overpriced junk. But none of them have any solutions for this problem of higher prices. All they do is whine and complain because that's what gets them views. Well, I'm the type of person who believes that every problem has a solution. So instead of just talking about the problem, I have a solution for you. In this video, I have compiled a list of Harbor Freight items that are still available at the old prices. These are items that Harbor Freight is clearing out so they can rebrand the same tool and sell it to you at higher prices after rebranding. So let's look at the good stuff Harbor Freight still has available at low prices. Today we're looking at the Harbor Freight clearance items, good quality tools at good prices. And keep in mind that since these are clearance items, you may be able to get these items at even lower prices if you ask the manager to mark them down further. Managers have the ability to mark down items further just to move them out the door. So let's see what good stuff we can still get our hands on at Harbor Freight. But before we do that, if you want to stay informed about sales and discounts at Harbor Freight, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified every time I create another Harbor Freight money saving coupon video. Alright, so like I said, we're looking at the Harbor Freight clearance deals that are available right now for as long as they last. There's no date on this because there is no expiration date. They're going to clear them out until they're all gone. And I have compiled this huge list and literally there must be over 500 items that I have here. I'm not going to talk about every single item. I'm just going to go through and talk about some of the best picks on here and we'll discuss the pricing, availability, all that kind of good stuff. And availability will vary from location to location. So some people may have a lot of them available and some places may not. And since I'm not going to hit on every single item here, all these items are listed at my website under the extras tab. Just go look them up if you want to you know, look through here and see if there's something that you like. Maybe something I talk about, maybe something I don't talk about. But go to my website, you can see all this anytime you like. And we're starting off with small things, small hand tools like screwdrivers and stuff like that. And these are not bad little items. I mean, you're talking little things here like the 7-in-1 screwdriver, 197 a couple of bucks. I mean, some of these you may want to consider it like sto uh, stocking stuffers. Christmas is coming up fairly soon. So if you can get some of these items on clearance sales, get them really cheap or something, have the manager knock it down. If you can talk them into it, why not? Get them as cheap as you can and then keep them or give them away as gifts. And let's see, more screwdrivers and machete. Here's a little ratcheting screwdriver, eight bucks. Some of these things are the best things at the lowest prices because they're the old stuff that Harbor Freight wants to get rid of. And like this item right here, this Pittsburgh hand riveter set with collection and bottle. Uh, this item right here, I know has already been rebranded and the old one here is 40 bucks. The new one that has been rebranded and is a red color. I don't know if they're gonna call it Bauer or what they're gonna call it yet, but the new one is in the $60 range. So that tells you right there, items are gonna double or triple once they get rebranded. So you wanna look through these items and if you see something you like, you wanna get it now if it's still available. Like these utility knife set, 997, 10 bucks right there, that's five bucks each, that's not too bad. And you got some uh, stainless steel scissors here. Uh, I don't know why they call them scissors, they're basically uh, shears, probably pruning shears or something like that. But there you go. And here you have a half inch uh, drive SAE impact socket set, 10 piece. Why they're clearing these out, I don't know. Maybe because they wanna push the Icon brand more than this one. And here you have right here this Pittsburgh 6-bit impact screwdriver set with case. I can tell you I have this unit right here. Eight bucks. Not a bad unit. Does the job. This one is going away because it's being rebranded into the Quinn name. I've already seen that one. And that one is, take a guess. We're going from eight bucks. The new Quinn one is 40 bucks. All right. So that's how much is going up. From eight to 40. That's why they're getting rid of this one. Not enough uh, markup. Not enough profit for them. And this little guy right here, this uh, working platform step stool, I have one of these, I've had it for many years. Really good for working on trucks, RVs, any kind of big vehicle like that that you really gotta get up high. If you wanna be able to wash the roof, wax it, do whatever you want, it helps out. 
25 bucks, that's not a bad price. This may go away or it may be rebranded into something else and cost you a whole lot more. So if you don't want to pay more somewhere else, you may want to look at it here. This guy right here, this Hallmaster platform truck, 35 bucks, not bad. I have this unit. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but it does come in handy if you're moving around big items. I mean, this is not something I use all the time, but for the past few weekends, I've been moving some stuff around the house here, and this little guy has come in really, really handy because sometimes I have to do things by myself, and if I have a big, bulky item that would normally take two people, I can put it on this item, uh, I mean, put it on this hand truck, and just, you know, move it around all by myself instead of having to have another body to help me do it. So it does come in handy for things like that. And here you have some of the uh, dollies and so forth. So a lot of the different dollies here. This service truck, 99 bucks. There you go. And some of these other guys here, like this uh, Bigfoot hand truck, 35 bucks. Wouldn't surprise me if they bring it back with a different name and it's up in the $50 range. So, you know, there you go. Keep an eye. If you're looking at something like that, keep an eye on all this stuff. Check it out. See what's good for you. Uh, this Predator 2500 PSI pressure washer wouldn't surprise me if they bring it back again uh, This is carb, but uh, carbs always making changes. They may bring it back again with some modifications Call it the same thing call it a different name and raise the price because that's all there is to these things There's nothing really that can change a whole heck of a lot of pressure washers Especially if they're using the same engines and all that, but uh, they'll find a way to mark it up. That's for sure same as these guys right here if you want to get something at a low price, the Lynx brand has gone away. That's why they're clearing these guys out. All these Lynx items, they're all being cleared out because Lynx is going away. It's been rebranded into the Atlas brand. And the Atlas is a lot more expensive than the Lynx brand. Now, the batteries may be compatible or not. That's something you may want to look at the store. If you have two that you can look at side by side, maybe try to fit one on a tool or something like that and see if they fit. You can get, if they, if they are compatible, the reason I'm saying that is because you could get these Lynx items at a lower prices, and if you can still get the Atlas batteries in the future, that means you can keep the items going as long as you want to, if they're compatible. If not, I would say buy yourself some Lynx batteries now and save yourself the money so you can keep them going into the future. I mean, these, these items don't last forever, okay? So it's not like you need to have something that's going to last you 50 years. It'll last you 10, 15 years, 20, whatever, and then you have to buy a new one. So you don't need to look too, too far into the future as far as durability. This Krauss and uh, Becker right here, uh, airless paint sprayer kit. You know that they're bringing in the Avanti spray, uh, sprayers to replace all these guys. And the Avantis are much, much more expensive. So that's why these guys are going away. A lot of this stuff is being rebranded. And some of these little guys here, like these little chip brushes, I bought a set of these guys right here, the 2-inch. Uh, the one inch are just fine, but I got the two inch because I figure it's more for your money. And uh, they come in so handy. I use them for everything, for cleaning, uh, dusting things off, uh, painting, all sorts of stuff. For 10 bucks, uh, you know, for a 36 pack, that's not bad right there. It costs you a heck of a lot more. These are like a dollar a piece if you go get them at Home Depot. That's why I bought it in bulk, and that way I don't need to worry about it. So, you know, these chip brushes are pretty good because they're a natural bristle. So that's why I like to use those guys. And here you have some bigger chip brushes. Like, I have one of these uh, big 4-inch like that. Sometimes if you're doing stuff, you're doing some sanding or something like that, or you want to clear away uh, wood that you're, you know, chipping away or something, you don't want to use your hands. You're not going to get splinters that way. So I use a big brush like this to clear everything away, and then I can see uh, how my work is progressing. So that's a way right there to protect your fingers. Getting splinters is no fun at all. And here you get some uh, cheap brushes. There you go, 97 cents right there. You're not going to pay 97 cents if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's. So that's a good cheap brush right there. And two and three bucks for the other ones, 177 there. And here you have some foam brushes. Quite a lot of different little things here that you can get really cheap. Little uh, uh, putty knives, spatulas, whatever you want to call them. And here you have the Central Forge and the Pittsburgh ones. Most of these guys are going to be cleared out so they can rebrand them into the Quinn brand. Because that seems to be their favorite uh, name right now, Quinn. So that's what they're going to go with on that. Uh, Central Forge, Pittsburgh, Harbor Freight. There you go. Teeping knife set. There you go. So there's still a lot of the old stuff still left around. Wagner. Yeah, they're getting rid of all this stuff. And here you have uh, some tripods. 
uh, self-leveling laser kit right there. Uh, I don't know anything about that one. I've never even seen it in the store, but, um, you know, there you go. If you want to get tripods and so forth. And here you have some uh, distance meter with laser and uh, some stud finders and all that. If you want to get some cheap ones, here you go from 10 to 15 bucks. That's not very expensive right there. Most of the ones at the big box stores probably cost a lot more than that. And here you have Voyager, the 17-inch uh, steel bo uh, toolbox. If you want to get a cheap toolbox, I mean, 16 bucks? Where can you get a toolbox like that these days anymore? And here you have an aluminum case for 15 bucks right there. Again, another tool case right there, 15, 16 bucks. These are not bad. I mean, those prices are not bad. They want to clear them out so they can sell you their other boxes, which are much more expensive. So there you go. And here you have drill holders, phone tool holder, utility holder. Very inexpensive uh, little products right here. That's why they want to move them out. And why they're getting rid of this tool bag right here with 15 pockets, I really don't know. The $13.97, 14 bucks, that's not bad. That's a Hercules. That's a current brand. So what are they going to do with that? I don't know. Maybe that one didn't sell very well, and they don't want to take up uh, space on the shelf, and they want to bring a different one. But you can see the difference between this is the old stuff they used to sell, this is the fancy new stuff they sell. So you can see you can get the other stuff. It may not look as pretty, but it's a whole lot cheaper. I mean, look at that 15 inch canvas rigged bag, 10 bucks versus 14. So, and that's a small scale, but you get what I'm saying. And here you go, your six inch magnetic parts holder, two bucks. Yeah, you can still get some of these guys. I don't know what they're gonna do with that, if they're gonna rebrand it into a different name or just have a different size altogether. And here you have some uh, inexpensive drills, Drill Master. Now, Drill Master is a name that's going to go away. But what they're doing is basically rebranding all the old Drill Master stuff into the Warrior brand. So that's what you're going to see. A lot of the old Drill Master is just going to disappear. If you want to get some cheap stuff in the Chicago Electric, that's been going away for a long time. So if you can still find some, you can still get it at a reasonable price. And uh, here you go, the Warrior. A lot of this stuff is being rebranded to the Warrior. Why they're getting rid of this one, I don't know. Maybe they uh, have a different design coming in, but that's all there is to that. And here you have the Chicago Electrics, different brands. See, this used to be the red body, used to be the low-end one, and then this uh, grayish yellow body used to be their higher end. And then they figure it out, basically, there's no difference between them. People can't see a difference, not worth paying the extra money. So they created the Bauer brand. So that's what's going on with that. So that's why everything is going now from Chicago Electric into the Bauer brands. And here's an item right here, which if you can still find it at your store, I recommend this as a good unit. Uh, this is the Earthquake Cordless 3.8 cents Extreme Torque Ratchet. This is the strongest one they had. Right now, they're getting rid of this guy and they're replacing it with the Hercules one. But the Hercules one, it uses a really weird battery design down here, which I don't like because it's hard to get into, you know, crowded areas. So if you want a slim barrel design like this, this is the one to get. And this one has 20 or 30 foot pounds more than the Hercules one. So if you can still get this one, you're going to get a stronger tool. So I suggest you get that one instead of the Hercules one. And here you go. If you want a, a inexpensive uh, variable speed jigsaw, 20 bucks. That's really cheap right there, the Drill Master. Now, this one may come back as a Warrior, but it'll probably be $25, $30. Bucks. I don't know. Here's a cordless uh, variable speed polisher. You know, this is not bad. I, I have one of these. If you want to talk about having old tools, I still have one of these when it was the old orange body. That's how old mine is. And it's still cranking away. And it's the old cheapy-looking orange body from like 15 years ago. And I use it, you know, every so often, not all the time. But like right now that I'm doing some work around the house during the summer, I've been using it quite a bit. So it comes in handy for sanding things down, and it has the power to do whatever you need. Same as this guy right here. Uh, a rotating handle variable speed reciprocating saw. Uh, this guy's going away. May, may not come back at all. 23 bucks right there. Here's the other one. Another 9 amp uh, Chicago Electric, 47 bucks. And then you have these other Chicago Electric little sanders, which are probably going to be rebranded into Bauer or Warrior or something like that and cost you more. And here's some other uh, belt sanders and so forth if you want to get some inexpensive ones. I mean, 23 bucks for a belt sander? That's pretty cheap right there. That is a darn good price. You're not going to find that in the Bauer or Hercules or any other brand. And this guy right here, 
I have this unit, and that's another one that I've been using since so I've been doing a lot of repair on the outside, termite damage, stuff like that. And it really helps you to get into really tight places. And I don't know other brands that make it. There may be other brands out there. I mean, you may be able to look this up on Amazon. But uh, 35 bucks, if you still want to get this little guy, I find it quite useful. I got it a long time ago. And uh, the only thing that I hate, basically, is the uh, belts from Harbor Freight have been really bad. They keep just coming loose at the seam. That's the only problem. But the tool itself has not given me any trouble at all. So I would say the tool is worth looking into if you want to get a really, really small belt sander to get into really tiny, uh, tight areas. Really get into tight areas. And here you go. The Chicago Electric uh, Variable Speed Oscillating Tools, they're being phased out. I wouldn't be surprised if they come back as Warrior or a Bauer. So these guys are going out. Here you have some more angle grinders if you want to look at that. This guy right here. This guy was popular for the longest time. The Drill Master. This is the black one. They used to always drop this down to about 9 bucks. Look at this. This guy is going away. Whether I think it's coming back as a Warrior, but it's coming back about 10 bucks higher. So this guy, I don't think it's going to go away anytime soon, but they want to make more money on it. So the same thing you watch is going to have an orange label back here instead of a red one, and the price goes up like 10 bucks. So do keep an eye on that. This guy right here has already been rebranded from the Drill Master into the Warrior. It's still the same price. It has not changed in price. I've mentioned this in the coupons before. I have this old one, the Drill Master. I've had it for years. Still works out just fine. And if you want to get other ones, they have other ones that are much more expensive. Some saws right there. And let's see, the Benchtop Table Saw, 149 That's an inexpensive table saw right there if you want to get something like that. And uh, Mini Tool Grinder with a buffing wheel right there, 35 bucks. Chicago Electric. And again, the Compact Job Site Table Saw from Hercules. Why are they phasing that out? I don't know. Maybe they're bringing back a new one with more features added into it. This one maybe didn't sell so well. So, you know, if you want to get a cheap Hercules for right now, this is one to look at right there. Here's the Chicago Electric. Again, this is being rebranded into the Warrior brand, and it's probably going to be more. Because remember, they want to do that good, better, best kind of a thing, and they can't have good, gooder, better, better, bestest, but whatever. <laughs> There's not so many different variables they can throw in there. So they can't have Chicago Electric at the bottom, have Warrior, have Bauer, and then have Hercules. They can only have three. So Chicago Electric is going to become Warrior, and it's going to be the good, and then Bauer better, and then Hercules best. So that's uh, where all this fits into this stuff. So let's see, moving right along here, we have a lot of different things. Like I said, I'm not going to touch on everything. And here they're clearing out one of the Vulcans, and this is the Industrial Welder. If you're looking for a Vulcan you can get at a good price still, that's something to keep in mind right there. And here they're clearing out some of the earthquake ones. These are their older earthquakes. If you're looking for the less expensive earthquake models, you can still pick up some of these older ones because they're being rebranded with just a different case on it. They're all going to be about the same, but they just have a different look because they want to compete with Snap-on and stuff like that, which has a lot of different pretty colors. So they're rebranding them with pretty colors and stuff like that so they can charge you more money. Like this guy right here. This, the Central Pneumatic, was their bottom of the barrel one for 20 bucks. If you want an entry-level impact wrench right there, that's one to look at while it's still around. Same as the Palm Nailer here, 16 bucks, 25 bucks. if you want to get it cheaper than at the big box stores. And here you have some other ones, including a Banks. Why they're clearing out Banks? I don't know. Maybe that one didn't sell so well. But they're clearing that out and making room for the other stuff. And here you have the compressors. And remember, I've told you for the longest time, these have been going away bit by bit. If you can still find these in your local area, these are good items to pick up. And, uh, you know, you can get them at a lot lower price than the McGraws. Like, look at this one right here, 179 for a 10-gallon. I just saw in one of the coupons uh, last week or the week before, something like that, they had a 10-gallon McGraw, which was like 250 300 bucks. So a lot more expensive than these guys right here. So there you go. See this one? 99 bucks for an 8-gallon. That's why I tell you, these old central pneumatics, whether the black or the red, you can pick these guys up. If you can still get them, you can pick them up a whole lot cheaper. This guy right here, 21 gallon. I, I have this guy. I've had it for about four or five years now, something like that. And it's been a good compressor. Every time I turn it on, no trouble at all. 
149 You cannot get a McGraw at that price anymore. So if you can still pick up these guys, pick them up and save yourself some money. Look at this bad boy right here, 60 gallons, 5 horsepower, 849 The old central pneumatic, that's going to go away. And that's a good way to get yourself some good, cheap uh, tools right there. This guy right here, 3 8 inch, 50 foot premium hose, retractable hose reel. The red one, 89 bucks. A whole lot cheaper than they're rebranding them into much more expensive stuff right there. You have some welding stuff, cutting stuff. Here you have some of the hoses. They're getting rid of some of the old Diablos. I think they're coming up with a new name for these guys. So that's why they're clearing out these Diablos. I guess they didn't do so hot. So I think they're rebranding them into something new. So if you want to get yourself some uh, good inexpensive hoses right there, there you go. There's some stuff to keep an eye on. And some regulator gauges and all that. Quite a few there to pick from. These tailgaters. This has already been rebranded once. It used to be something else. And it used to have like a brown cover on it. Something like that. Then it got renamed into this tailgater with the green cover. And this used to be 99 bucks before. Went up to 119 Now I don't know if it's being phased out completely. Or if it's coming back again with a different color and a different name. But this is their least expensive uh, generator. So if you want to get a really inexpensive generator, that's one to consider right there. Uh, their Predator ones are their more expensive ones, and they're clearing out these guys here. Again, are they going to come back? Are they just phasing out? I don't know. Here you have a 5.5 horsepower engine, a 22 horsepower V-twin right there. There you go. Save yourself some money. Some spotlights. Uh, 8, 847, that's not too bad for these two little lights. That's really quite inexpensive. Uh, there are uh, many off-road lights, halogens. They're not LEDs. That's why they're probably phasing that out. Halogens are kind of falling out of favor. Every, everybody wants everything now to be LED. So that's the way that's going to go. And here you go with your scanners and so forth. I don't think your scanners are all that great. But if you do, you know, it's up to you. And here you go. If you want to get some uh, testing equipment and you want to get them at lower prices... There you can get those guys right there and a lot of different things right there. This guy, this hands-free portable workstation, uh, one ton clamping force. This one they showed up about a year or two back, not a long time. Why they're clearing that out? Don't know. Maybe it has some defect built into it. Maybe they came up with a better design. Uh, who knows? Maybe sometimes they copy other brand tools and so forth. There may have been a lawsuit pending or something and then they have to change the design just a little bit more so they can get away from that. So you never know why they're rebranding each and every item, but or just getting rid of it. Who knows? Like this right here, the uh, R134 manifold gauge set, 59 bucks. That's about the cheapest you're going to find out there. You go to the auto parts stores, you're looking at about 100 bucks. So if you're looking to be able to do some work on the AC of your car, this is one to uh, look into. This has already been modified once. I have the old one, which came in a red case and looks slightly different, but it's the same thing. And uh, then it became this guy, and whether it'll be rebranded into something else again, don't know. We'll find out soon enough. But the whole point is, you want to get it cheaper, now's the time. And here are some of the old chargers that they have, and some of the old booster packs that they have. Again, I've done videos on better booster packs and better chargers, so, you know, it's up to you what you want to do with that. And here you have some jacks that they're clearing out. And what they're doing is these jacks are perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with these jacks. If you want to look at some inexpensive jacks, I have uh, this one right here, I believe, the 8-ton for 20 bucks. And what they're doing is they're rebranding them. Now, instead of this uh, silvery gray color, they're coming up with a blue design. And uh, that, that's all it is. It's just probably the same exact jack, the same bottle jack, maybe being made by a different factory or something, and they gave it a different look, and they're charging you more. So that's something to keep in mind. You want some inexpensive jacks? Check those guys out right there. And let's see some gloves and ropes and safety equipment. There you go. And knee pads and all that. And some lights. And these guys came in uh, only about a year or so back. The 3000 lumen 4 foot linkable hanging shop lights. 20 bucks. That's pretty inexpensive right there. 3000 lumens. You know what they're doing now? They have some new ones coming in that are only 2 feet long. Instead of a 4 footer. They're two feet long, but guess what? You get less <laughs> less light, but they're double the price. So that's something weird right there. I saw that guy, and I'm going, it's like, I don't know why anybody would want a two-footer because the lamps, uh, the bulbs are going to cost you more anyway. The four-footers are standard, so that's a good, cheap, inexpensive way to go there. 
but um, hey, you know, uh, some people may want it, so that's why they're putting them out there. And here you have a whole heck of a lot of different flashlights to look into. And uh, I've done a lot of videos, uh, like I have a video right now on these uh, quantum ones. And uh, they, you know, here, here for example, is the uh, camel one, 588 lumens. Go check out my video where you can get a two pack. See, this is 12 bucks. You can get a two pack for around 20 bucks and it puts out a thousand lumens each. So the quantum, yeah, they're phasing it out. Maybe they'll bring back one with more, uh, you know, uh, lumens to it or something. I don't know. But uh, these guys that they have right now are fairly weak. Same as this guy. I've had this for several years. And uh, it's not bad. It's a crank light. Uh, it's something useful for when you have no power whatsoever. And you want to be able to, you know, crank it up and keep it going. That's something to look at right there. Bunch of LED lights that they have there and some cabinets. If you want some uh, inexpensive garage cabinets, this one's on casters. This is a wall unit. There you go. And that's a uh, you know, cheap way to get it right there. This guy right here, this uh, security alert system, I've had this for several years, and I find it very, very handy. Because I have uh, you know, security cameras and apps and so forth that tell me when somebody arrives, but it's a whole heck of a lot quicker and easier to hear an audible uh, alarm, an indicator, a beeping alarm telling you there's somebody there, instead of waiting to look at the app on the phone to see that there's somebody there. So I find the, the two in tandem very, very convenient. And here, if you want some of the old NICAD replaceable batteries, if you have some of the old Warrior drills that still use these guys, grab these guys before they disappear, if you still have those tools. And you don't want to replace it just yet, there you go. You can still get some of those batteries. NICAD is going away eventually. Uh, you're fortunate if your drill still runs, because a lot of those old uh, NICAD tools, they just stop working. They were not that good. That's why everything has gone to uh, lithium-ion because NICAD was terrible as far as uh, holding on to the power and the tools eventually would just start, you know, stop working, stop cranking away, stop doing whatever they needed to do, and they didn't have the power. No matter what, even if you had the same voltage, uh, NICAD just didn't have the uh, oomph to it, the push that NICAD really does. Here you have one of their four channel wireless surveillance cameras, 239 overpriced junk. I've told you this uh, every time I do a video, don't bother with that. It's not very good. There's many other ones on my channel that I have that are much better quality and cheaper price. So you can get those way, way better than that. Here you have a metal hole saw assortment of Bauer, 29 bucks being cleared out. I don't know why. Here you have, this is the old Warrior right there. See, cheaper. Uh, this is a 7 8 that's a 3 quarters, but still, you get the idea. Warrior ones are cheaper. And here you have another Warrior one, 10 bucks for that if you want to get even cheaper than that. So uh, there are quite a few different things there that you can look at and choose from. Like uh, this rasp set. Uh, oh, this is just a rasp set. I thought it was uh, the chainsaw sharpening one because I have uh, that set. It's three pieces, orange handle, same as that. That's why I thought it was the uh, chainsaw sharpener, but it's not. And this is something right here which is important. Now, you guys that have the old uh, jigsaws and have uh, been looking for the U-shank, this is the old style, the U-shank blades. Get them here, get them now, before they phase these out and you can't get them anymore. Go grab every one they have on the shelf. Well, these are unavailable. These are store only three bucks, uh, four inches, six piece, of, uh, five pack right there. Go grab every one ha they have on the shelf that way you can keep your old jigsaw still running because the new ones are the t-shank and you can't use those so there you go u-shank 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 go get those guys before they're all gone and that way you don't have to buy yourself a new jigsaw harbor freight is one of the few places that still had these available so there you go go grab those there you have some uh, drill sets uh, nut setters all that and here we get into the blades you can go check out whatever blade is good for you. Like I said, these are all on my website. I'm going through these kind of quickly because this is a long video. Too many items to talk about. But go to my website, look through this list, and see whatever works for you. And look at right here, 6-inch uh, cutoff wheel, 397, 3-pack. There you go. And it's, you have some, some other ones right there. Go check these out at my website. Make your shopping list, and that way you can shop and compare see which one is good for you and which one is a good buy or is not i'm not going to go through every single one because it's just way too many this video would be way longer than it already is i really don't like the uh sandpaper from harbor freight like i've already said before it tends to clog up it tends to break it tends to be a real nightmare 
so I really don't recommend it. But if you like it and you want to go get it, here you go. You have a whole lot of stuff on clearance that you can get at really good prices. So check that out. And then some nails for your nail guns. There you go right there, clearing a bunch of these guys out. So here we are, guys, at the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and hit, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.